I'm Irish Santos, and this is my last lecture. Chapter 1. An Injured Lion Still Wants to War I spend most of my time venturing the outdoors with friends to make my life worth living. Although my impulsive behavior can get me in trouble, my parents know it's just because I want to have fun. December 7, 2002 is the year of the horse and Sagittarius season. If I were to choose an animal that resembles me the most, it would be a horse. Just like a horse, I like to think I'm very affable. Wherever I am, I like to make sure I associate myself with people who have the same interests as me. In spite of my very social aspects, I like to be independent. Because at the end of the day, I'm all I've got. Solving problems and getting through obstacles is something I like to do on my own. How do I know it isn't God? I think about you all the time. Chapter 4 The Parent Lottery. Although I love my parents, my friends are my number one supporters and have encouraged me the most. I'm not a very open book to my parents since I grew up with tough love. Instead, I look to my friends. The dearest ones to my heart are Andrea, Kayla, and Faith. Are you laughing? <laughs> Andrea has been my friend since the fourth grade, even though we had problems before. We have seen each other grow into beautiful women over these years, and we've shared every experience with each other. We do a lot of crazy things together, from almost drowning at the beach to late night drives to see the city lights. Kayla, from the first day we met, I knew she was going to be stuck with me for a long time. When Kayla and I are together, we become such a loud crowd of two. She helps me out a lot because she is very wise and witty. Whenever I need good advice, I look to her since she's very smart and thorough. Dress up and dance parties are always happening in her house whenever I come over. Then there's Faith, who teaches me patience and tolerance. I've only known her since freshman year because of volleyball, but it feels like we're long lost sisters. Within the two years of getting to know her, we've had many conflicts. But at the end of the day, we're inseparable, and I can learn so much from her. During breaks and weekends, you can usually find me living at her house. Luckily, her parents accept me and treat me like one of their own. If I were to run away, I'd probably choose to hide out at her house. Even though we bicker and poke at each other every day, I learn to be more tolerant. I thank these beautiful women for helping me grow and always being there for me whenever I'm in need. Chapter 11, the happiest place on earth. The happiest place on earth for me would be whenever I'm with my friends. Every time we hang out as a group, it always ends up to be such an eventful night. They never fail to make me laugh. I love my group because we are each other's support system. I'd say I'm one of the luckiest people ever because I found friends that love and support me with every inch of their heart and with every decision I make. They've been there for me for every heartbreak and for every achievement in my life. There aren't enough words I could put together to show how thankful I am for them, but I hope they know that I will love them unconditionally. Actions that speak louder, me love and you are down in Chapter 28, Dream Big Strict adults should know what it's like to be in the golden age. Being a teenager is a place and time I can stay in forever. Because of my mom, I want to thrive in the future and give back the world to her. I dream big for my family and I. An advice I would give to all adults is that it's not as easy as it seems. Schoolwork, sports, and friends aren't as easy to balance when you're constantly under pressure. Adults should remember what it's like to feel young and free so they understand and become more open-minded. We only live once, so we should live it up to the fullest. Trying to have fun is just a reward for all the hard work we put in during school and sports. 
Chapter 53 Never Give Up Not everything will be handed to you in life, so you've got to work hard for it. It won't be a clear path, and there will be obstacles along the way, but pushing through despite the hardships is a positive mindset to always keep. There are so many brick walls when you play a sport. I practice for hours on end, and sometimes I just don't get the results I want. But I know if I keep pushing, eventually I'll be the player I strive to be. You need to be able to adapt and learn from your experiences. It may seem hard at first, but you will get past it. During tough times, you've got to distract and surround yourself with things you love. Never give up on your dreams, because if you work hard enough, anything is possible. I've got to get over.